everybody, welcome back. Um, sorry it's been a while since the last uh, video that I produced, um, COVID and all that lot. No excuse, but I've been really busy at work and, and other stuff as well going on. So uh, hopefully now back to some form of normality. Uh, I'm going to start posting some regular videos. So as the title suggests in this one, I'm building a new panel. So, well not me personally, but I'm getting somebody to build it for me, a friend at my local club. Um, but I've been sort of spending most of the winter really just learning exactly what instruments I need to get, how I need to position them, what the wiring is going to be like, whether the batteries um, are going to be powered by a, um, like load balancing and stuff like that. So um, quite, quite an uh, extensive process I've gone through already uh, in the planning phase. So really just a quick overview. Um, I'm adding the open vario, the 7 inch open vario from uh, Steve Fly, it's from Stefan Langer. Um, if you see his videos, I'll put some links in there as well. Um, then he's got that main screen in there um, with XC Saw as an application, which I've been using off an Android device um, that I've got. Um, it's only probably about a 5 inch Android device, but I've been uh, attaching that up to Condor. So just getting used to the application over the winter just to make sure I'm happy with the interface and, and everything and I really like the interface. It's, uh, it's really good, really nice and intuitive. So um, looking forward to having a nice seven inch screen right in the center of the panel. That's to, has to be a good thing. Um, I've also ordered the joystick as well. So to be able to control everything. So I've not ordered the rotary knob um, attachment, whatever it is. Um, <clears throat> everything can work off the uh, off the uh, joystick really uh, and in fairness I've sold my LX Joy because I have the Era 80 which I'm still going to keep oh, that's a brilliant instrument that is so for the intelligent Vario so I'm used to again using the joystick and everything for that so that will be slaved now off the open Vario <clears throat> so I've got that another uh, nice addition is I've got the power flam so I've swapped out the red box flam for the power flam core which means that that's got now got dual antennas and adsb in as well that will then help um range um, but also adsb traffic as well um well if it's transmitting then at least that's going to improve um at the moment research says about 80 percent of collisions tend to be glider to glider so um flam is still the most important thing but if i've got an extended range it gives me uh, more warning uh, and also a little bit more understanding of what's further afield as well um, from that point of view so that's what i'm going to do as i mentioned i'm going to keep the era 80 in there lovely instrument so that's a nice vario it's also a backup navigation device and, and it will sometimes share some of the information so rather than having a cluttered screen on the open vario there's a couple of bits of information i'll probably just show off that device advantage of that is that's igc so that will record the power flam as igc as well so i've got two igc instruments if i have a complete power failure the benefit is that the era 80 has a three to five hour battery backup built in which means it's got igc but it'll also get me home so i've got my map and i should know where i am anyway but it's nice to have an instrument at least that will be able to navigate me home and uh, or, or continue on the final elements of the task without losing the igc um, file on it so again that's as a, a nice backup and everything as well in there um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to be doing is as there's a, a sensible update and some development on the panel build then I'll post it maybe just short videos um, at the moment the panel mold is just about finished I'm going to get some photos I'm going to post that in a few days time as well and give people a kind of overview of where we're at on that um, so uh, again keep uh, keep posted for that um, and obviously the step-by-step -step process um, this year so 2021 uh, depending when you're watching it is obviously once we're out of covid and lockdown and all of that lot i have entered into some competitions already um, and i'm going to be doing sort of competitions and also lots of task flying and everything this year that's my mission i'm going to get that done and certainly future years as well so you'll be able to have in-flight video because i've got the gopro which i'm using now i've got a mount uh, behind me and you'll probably see that from my other videos if you haven't please watch those as well um, and that's then going to um, also give you a guided tour of all of the instruments whilst in use so sort of in action exactly what's going on which will be uh, probably quite useful to you um, so that's really it at the moment just to a short brief video just to say hello again and i'm, I'm back in the in the world and uh, hopefully just keep uh, watching. So 
Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and you, you, you like what I'm going to be posting and what I've been posting already. Uh, if you can consider doing that, it'd be much appreciated. Um, and also, if you want to, then uh, smash that uh, notification bell and you'll get notified then of any new uploads. So as, as the progression of the panel and other gliding related stuff comes along, you'll be notified straight away. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.